So what should you do if you find a little guy like this in your garden? So this is a flat neck chameleon. A lot of people find them very alarming. Uh, there are a lot of stories about them being venomous or dangerous, and I don't want to discount those because a lot of the time the effects that you can have from an animal are as much about what you expect as what the animal can do. But this little guy has very small teeth and absolutely no venom. Um, his claws aren't going to injure me. He is currently telling me he's a little bit upset with me, which isn't surprising. I've woken up from his winter nap. Uh, but you can see these little polka dots forming everywhere and this nice orange color showing on his throat. That's him trying to tell me that he'd like me to go away. If I don't, the worst he can do to me is pinch me with his barely toothy little mouth. It won't even break the skin. Um, and yeah, there's no medical reason that should cause me any harm. But again, psychosomatic effects are real. Uh, so if you're expecting danger, you will often find it. So chameleons are actually really good in the garden because they are quite generalist predators of insects. They're not sort of going to supremely take away all the insects in your garden overnight. Uh, but they prey on flies, they prey on grasshoppers, and that just makes your garden a little bit safer than it would be without them. So, so the little polka dots you can see all over his skin here. So those are an indicator that he's a little bit upset at the moment. That's the sort of first sign of stress in a chameleon. Um, and then as you start to see under his throat, it's, it's going away now. The little orange lines there, as he puffs it up, are another sign that he is in a little bit of distress. So we want him to calm down a bit. And I'll probably do that once he doesn't have a giant moving him around on their hand. If you do see a comedian in the garden, you don't have to be afraid of him. Even when he opens his mouth up like that. Sorry, he's being quite... Ah, he's decided to stop. Um, there we go. You can see inside, there's no teeth there. He's not going to seek out a confrontation. The reason he's stressed is because I've handled him up. And even there, he hasn't tried to bite me. He hasn't tried to defend himself in any major way. He's just trying to tell me to go away. So all you have to do is leave them alone and they will mind their own business.